Metalist. So JP, you ready to go on to game two? Let's of this do it, replay? Sean. Let's oh. jump into Metalopolis. Looks like we are having Destiny versus our good friend LG response in the right position as the red Protoss. And I do like this choice of map for Destiny because, again, on MLG Metalopolis, we know that there is no way to spawn in close positions. That means that Destiny's opponent can either be at the south position or at this right position, but will never be at the close position up at the 12. Now, how is that really going to factor into Destiny's build? Are we going to see him play a little bit more passive here in the opening of the game because he knows that he's going to be either cross... Uh, positions on the map or close by air? You know, I think this is going to cause him to favor a lot more the 15 hatch styles that we saw him do on test bug, that we seem to do a lot on his stream. Um, but I think most importantly, it means that he's going to have to do a lot of, of roundabout attacking because, again, in Metalopolis, there's this right lane in the middle of the map and this left lane, but no real center where battles are supposed to happen. So that really gives Zerg's faster unit the advantage to do counterattacks, to do swing arounds, and really Zerg should take advantage of that because Protoss is going to be so much slower and unable to really control these two watchtowers very well. Looks like Response is scouting with that probe, but right after that pylon being made, he might actually catch the Zerg before that hatchery drops down and probably get a block with a pylon at the natural. We'll have to wait and see, though, as it's quickly approaching 15 supply. Uh -oh, There's uh -oh. the drone going out. They are going to meet Ooh. each other, and Response is immediately going to respond to that and probably drop a pylon here. Response very good at doing his own name in Protoss vs. Zerg. <laughs> Trying to poke around, and oh, there oh there's the pylon block, but you know what? Destiny didn't even have enough, enough money. Yeah, so it, it was kind of just like, well, I'm going to have this drone down here, make him kind of waste a pylon in a sense. That eventually it will go up, but eventually those links are going to come out and just take it down, and then he'll throw up his hatch. Now, if this were Kiwi Kaki, I'm sure Kiwi Kaki would figure out a way to wall off the bottom of this ramp with a whole bunch oh, of forges. Or select. And win. Yes, select. <laughs> This were select, he'd build some Protoss bunkers at the bottom of the ramp, use the advantage <laughs> that they can uh, lift up and move and be replenished for full energy again. Do have Destiny continuing to poke around at this probe, trying to get it out of the base, making a nice big square, and it looks, looks like, like again with steel, the gas yeah. steel. Yeah, and uh, I mean, last game this didn't change response play whatsoever. Destiny feels like it's something that needs to be done, though, so he's just going to stick to what he's always done and just continue doing it in this match. I think this is a little bit unnecessary. I mean, uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't think this drone's really going to catch up. They, they're fairly <laughs> even. They've actually tied every foot race they've ever entered. So um, it looks like he's just going to be killing a little bit of time here, making sure that at the very least response has to keep an active eye on this probe. Now, ordinarily, you retreat like this because the shields heal, but the drone also heals too. So it looks like it'll be a fairly even uh, rego if they do decide to fight again. About four lings. Going to pop out here. They're going to try to take down that pylon, eventually taking it down, of course. The probe going to sneak back in here. Thought he might try to drop a cyber next core and delay that hatchery even more. Uh, he still <laughs> might do it, though, as the probe's sticking around, but those lings are going to be able to make quick work of him. Taking out the assimilator there and adding on the pylon's going to be putting on his second gas. Lings taking that oh. out. Oh, it looks like he might have been sneaking in there to drop something else down. Hatchery going to be going <laughs> down at the expansion for just a or in just a couple of seconds. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little surprised that Response tried to get back there and build another <laughs> pylon with that many Zerglings and drones beating down on him. Um, but still, you know what? No big deal. We don't like to beat him up for it. We do see Response now adding on more gateways in his main. Uh, going to be doing, it looks like, again, a very typical three gateway build, but I'm a little surprised to see a Stalker get built this early. Almost always you don't see that sort of uh, unit pop out early because you generally want to see an earlier third gateway, so this could be a sign that Response is going to be a little more aggressive or that he's really scared about controlling this huge space at the expansion. Now, what are some of the other openings that Protoss can do against Zerg, Sean? I mean, we've seen in this matchup every time pretty much that the Sentry, three-gate Sentry into Expand is what they all go for. Mm -hmm. uh, but he can also do something like four-gate. Is there anything that you've seen that really is very effective that not a lot of people are doing? We haven't seen that much Stargate play um, yet. I mean, we saw Kiwi Kaki do that against Idra, which, right. as you know, worked out pretty well. Um, getting one Void Ray and then following it up with three to five Phoenixes, a great way to eliminate those queens, especially if you end up trying to get a Void Ray around now-ish. That's generally, oh, whoa, response with a robotics facility. I'm, I'm at a little bit of a loss because, uh-oh, oh no, is Destiny actually going to get in? He's getting close. Getting very close. Bringing everything in, and oh, and he, he sees, sees the robotics it. facility, and I think Destiny is going to think the same thing we are. Huh? <laughs> what does that really signify to you? What is Response going to try to do with this? I, it's, it's very unclear to me. I mean, perhaps a cross-map Immortal push? 
but I mean, Immortals are really Kinda like slow. like what we saw back in the beta, something like that. Yeah, that would actually be cool to do the very first ever, uh, quote-unquote, <laughs> broken Protoss strategy, the early Immortal push. I mean, as we see from uh, Destiny's side of the map, doing a very typical two-hatch, getting a Roach Warren before his lair. Generally, you want to get it while your lair is building, but of course, if the opponent um, is doing any sort of early aggression, you definitely want to be getting that. Um, those roaches up early. But man, response looks like he's going to expand now after getting an observer. Hmm. Hallucination almost about to finish as well. He might have just wanted that observer to, s or wanted the robotics facility to get that observer out and possibly just scout his opponent. Uh, but at the same time, he could just do that with hallucination. So maybe he's thinking that some uh, roach burrow is coming. I'm not entirely sure. And we'll just have to wait and see how he follows this up. With Hallucination Observer, he can double scout. <laughs> Send the Phoenix in first and then get the Observer just to double check. Looks like the Observer is heading out right now. I mean, the only reason I can think that you would be getting this Observer so early on is because counterattacking is very popular on this map. But, I mean, as we see, Destiny doesn't have any sort of counterattack plan. Looks like he hid all these units up at the north end, so I do not believe that Response did end up seeing it with his Hallucinated Phoenix. But, I mean, Destiny is still going to be in a very good position. He's getting drones. And he is continuing to add on more and more. Um, oh, never mind. It looks like. Oh, man. Terrible <laughs> result right there. Hello. For Destiny. <laughs> Says the Phoenix from up above. And now Destiny's mad. He's going to take that statue out. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to batter inanimate objects around you. Many gamers have had this experience post ladder games as well. We see LG Response now finishing up his expansion, getting two geysers. Uh, pretty early geysers. Again, early immortal as well. And he may very well just go into the robotics bay. A play that I like quite a bit. Um, just getting those ro or those colossi up very early on a map like Metalopolis makes it much easier to take your third base. Burrow has been started as well as Roach Speed and still don't see a Hydra list in, but we will eventually see one as that lair is there. And I think Destiny is just going to do uh, what we saw last game in terms of his army. I would love to see Infestation Pit go down, but I'm not sure if he could actually support that just this moment. Do see response not quite putting any guys in the assimilators yet, continuing to warp in more stalkers. And, you know, the one thing that concerns me about beginning to get stalkers, those beefy units so early on, is, again, you just do not have that much money to do much else. Response is kind of stuck on three gateways all game long. Zerglings are now continuing to move to the bottom side. They can take out this man's statue if they <laughs> want to. Uh, there's a first set of Evo chambers going down, and I'm a little surprised from Destiny as well, because Destiny has yet to take a third base. I love the fact oh. that he just has, a, there <laughs> we go, right as you say it. I like Bam. also down at the 5 o'clock position that he just has Link sitting there waiting for uh, his opponent to try and take his third, but he will take that probe out. And there's also another Mink statue, another as Sean points statue. out. <laughs> he can do the achievement unlocked, killing all Mink statues on the map. I'm pretty sure that that, that should be a hidden should achievement. Exist, if not, Dear Blizzard, if you're sure. listening, that is the <laughs> number one priority for the next patch. Maybe they'll put your face on it. <laughs> that will be so that will be Day so 9 cool. statue. <laughs> Hatch now going down in the top left corner of the map. Uh, Lynx still positioned quite dangerously here, and this is really the one thing that hurt um, Destiny in the last game. No counterattacking going on, and Response has to get these extra gateways, because again, so hard to get a third, but um, you know, Response on the map that was even harder to get the third on Test Bug just went ahead and did it without having any really units, so looks like he's playing a little more cautiously this game himself. Response taking out a couple of those lanes that will retreat home. Now, you mentioned the fact that that third is going up. Is that a little bit of a late third for Destiny, or is that just right on time? Yeah, I really don't like that third timing. I mean, it's kind of what happens when you try to hide a whole bunch of roaches and zerglings um, up in this corner by the Meng statue, and then you get spotted. I mean, all the time that you originally would have wanted to make drones, you don't really get to. So now here's the terrible position that Destiny's going to find himself in. It's exactly this type of game that Idra was in against Kiwi Kaki. You kind of have to keep making units. There's not really that many drones that are going to come out. It's mainly going to be spire units, roaches, and upgrades. So that definitely eats in to Destiny's ability to upgrade any sort of economy. But, ooh, a burrow, Zergling. That's going to delay um, a little bit longer as well. Response, I thought he might actually be moving out there. It looks like Destiny's going to try to send some lings in there, but they will be deflected. And I also like the fact that creep tumors are coming down that bottom lane, uh, but only one. Usually, I see a lot of Zergs actually getting a second, or a, excuse me, a third or fourth queen and expanding that that uh -oh. much faster. But, uh-oh, uh -oh. looks like some lings are going to sneak into the expansion here. There are no well, units right in sight. On in, and it looks like Response morphing in all the way over here. 
Uh, Zerglings are going to do huge amounts of damage, picking off a ton of probes. Oh my gosh, an enormous counterattack. Destiny is in great shape after that fight. Look at that, 39 probes versus 57 drones. But here comes Response with his answer up in the top left. And here we go. I'm not sure if Corruptors are actually out. If not, they are <gasps> going to be spawning here very soon, but... Worst botched force fields in a long, long time. I am really, really concerned that Response was not paying attention. There was a perfect opportunity.